Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the 2023 through 2024 AFC South Week 9 review. And may I just say, oh yeah, this week was ugly. I mean, seriously, oh my word. Where do I start? Oh yeah, let's start off with Tennessee Titans at Pittsburgh Steelers. Ugh which led to multiple injuries. I mean, seriously. Yeah, the Titans offensive line got banged up, including Nicholas petit Frere. Oh, who is basically done for the year. Ugh. But of course, Pittsburgh Steelers defense, Cole Holcomb, ugh. he basically paid the price and is done for the year. Ugh. Oh, my word. Yeah. Ugh. Then, of course, there was also... Wide receiver Traylon Burks, yep, who has ended up in concussion protocol. I'm not so sure he's going to play next week. Oh, my word. But still, yeah, it was a brutal, brutal, brutal battle. I mean, seriously, yeah. It came down to one final play, and Will Levis threw the game-losing interception to Quan Alexander. Ugh, I mean, seriously, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. In the end, Pittsburgh Steelers won that game 20-16. to So close! So close! Oh, my word. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Next, we got to talk about Tampa Bay Buccaneers at Houston Texans. It was, it was the game everyone was talking about. C.J. Stroud made Will Levis' game last week a thing of the past. I mean, seriously. 470 receiving yards, 5 touchdowns. C.J. Stroud, yep. He's basically rookie of the year. Oh, yeah. This is unbelievable. Yeah. Two of his touchdowns went to Tank Dell. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is by far insane. Oh. I mean, seriously. C.J. Stroud was on fire that game. Oh. But still, it didn't stop the Buccaneers from, from fighting until the very end. That game ended with Houston Texans winning 39-37. to Oh. I mean, seriously. Ugh. Still, that final touchdown came to, oh my god, yeah. Tampa Bay Buccaneers scored a touchdown few, yeah, I cannot believe it. You you had the lead for about a few moments, and then you lose it. I mean, seriously, oh uh, yeah. So anyways, yeah, Houston Texans won that game 39-37. to Ugh. But anyways, now we move on to Indianapolis Colts at Carolina Panthers. And I may I just say, yeah, it was Bryce Young's... <clears throat> I mean, seriously, throwing three interceptions, two of which went to Kenny Moore. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that was by far one of the worst... Well, that was one of the worst losses by Carolina Panthers. And I mean, seriously, yeah, Indianapolis Colts were completely under control. <sighs> The defense really shined that game. I mean, seriously. Oh. In the end, Indianapolis Colts won 27-13. to oh, oh. Oh, my word. So, AFC South dominated NFC South ugh, this week. But now we move on to Week 10, and you better believe it. Now, th now get ready, folks. Ne get ready, folks. Sunday. Sunday. Whew, in Germany, Indianapolis Colts will take on the New England Patriots, which is Bill, which might be Bill Belichick's final game as New England Patriots head coach. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There are rumors going around that if New England Patriots lose to Indianapolis Colts, Bill Belichick could be done. So, so keep your eyes open on that one. Oh. Meanwhile, Tennessee Titans, it's their turn to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And Will Levis is still the starter, regardless of Ryan Tannehill coming back. <laughs> Made the right choice, Mike Vrabel. Now let's see if it works out. Woo. Oh, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, Houston Texans, after having C.J. Stroud come off at one of his best games yet. Yep, it's their turn to take on Cincinnati Bengals. Woo. Who are coming off a close win against Buffalo Bills. Oh, yeah. Yep. And then, coming off the bye week, Jacksonville Jaguars. They are hosting San Francisco 49ers, who are also coming off a bye week. And have just got Chase, Chase Young through, oh, through the trade deadline. I mean, seriously. Oh, my word. Yep, their defense is going to be even more dangerous for Trevor Lawrence. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ugh. So anyways, that's all for now. See you when I bring you even more breaking news.